Good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us here at KBC Channel 1. I am Nisi Imano. I am joined by Anne Wangeshi as our sign language interpreter for this bulletin. And the bulletin begins right now. We start in Moranga where uh, Transport Cabinet Secretary Engineer James Masharia has said the collapsed Moranga building was unsafe for human living. He spoke as the death toll in the tragedy rose to six with two more bodies retrieved from the scene while one more succumbed to injuries while in hospital. Three more people are still trapped with efforts ongoing to rescue them. Sunday morning, the transport CS engineer James Masharia visited the site of the building that collapsed in Moranga. The CS condemned the workmanship of the collapsed building, saying the matter is under review that will inform the action to be taken. You cannot be guided by greed. And so we shall be taking uh, some very serious action as you know, the director, Directorate of uh, Criminal Investigations has already uh, started the process of hunting down whoever is concerned. Developer, you know, the, the, the professionals, the architects, the engineers, uh, both at national government and county level. According to the CS, even the adjacent building to the ill-fated one that is under construction should be demolished. We have also instructed uh, the National Building Inspectorate, uh, the secretary, secretary of that department is here, to now fast track the audits and, and, and bring down all buildings which are not safe. So far, five bodies have been retrieved from the Colas four-story building at Sunstar Hotel Gatanga, while one construction worker died in hospital, bringing to six the number of deaths from the accident. Three people are yet to be accounted for. Masharia says they expect the operations to be completed by end of business today. And so uh, all the agencies here from the KDF and all the other agencies, NYS, the National Police, the GAO, uh, they are working together to make sure that that objective of finishing the job today is, uh, is, is completed. We set aside to compensate and support those families. I know most of them had families, they had wives, they had children. It is time we think about them because this is so unfair, it is so, uh, it's so devastating to those uh, members of those families. Engineer Masharia says 4,000 buildings have been marked as unsafe and has had the National Buildings Inspectorate to fast track the inspection. For Lunchtime News, I'm Ruth Wamboy.